Hi guys, this is Tyler Maley, Assistant Professor of Mathematics at Marion Tech, and I'm your instructor uh, for this course. Um, so this is a video that I like to make at the beginning of the term, I call a syllabus video, um, just going over some things like we would on day one in an on-campus class to um, help get you started on the right foot. Right. So I'm here on our quantitative reasoning course page, um, and, and again, I just want to walk you through some um, information and some things on the Canvas site to help you be successful. So the first thing is you'll notice there's a number of tabs here on the left, um, and these are going to be um, how we navigate through Canvas. Uh, the very first one is the announcements. So if you go to announcements, um, this is going to be very vital to how I communicate with you throughout the semester. So I'll be posting a lot of announcements um, telling you important information. Um, so I would um, definitely check this often. In fact, something that I highly recommend is if you go and click on your account and then click on notifications, then you can change um, how you receive notifications about um, uh, certain elements throughout the course. So for the announcements under course activities, I would um, I, I suggest having this as a check mark, noti notify me right away. Um, so that way it'll send it to your email address right away as soon as I send out an announcement. So please um, change that if that's not already set um, in that fashion. All right, so let me go back to the course. Um, so this first announcement I posted is um, if you have any technical difficulties with Pearson, so if my math lab's not able to load or whatnot, um, these, these are the steps that you should take. All right. So then if I click on modules, um, you'll use this tab often. So I'll post uh, weekly modules. So the very first one I have posted is the Getting Started Agenda. So uh, if we can click on that, open that. So I have um, some tasks for you to do um, before you start into the course materials. So that includes reading the syllabus, um, you know, reading over the syllabus addendum, looking at um, math tutoring options, um, and, and so forth. Connecting your My Math Lab and Canvas accounts, and, and so forth. All right. So we're going to be using My Math Lab. Um, a lot this semester as well as Canvas. All right? So um, let me open up the syllabus and just go over a few things. Right, so um, here's just general course information. Um, so my office hours this semester um, for summer will be by appointment. Um, so if you need to meet with me, you can we can arrange that. Um, I can uh, meet through Canvas um, as well as um, on on campus in person. Right, so you can read over like the course description. So this is the textbook that we're using, um, using Understanding Mathematics by Bennett and Briggs, the seventh edition. Um, so if you really uh, Want to buy a hard copy of the book? You're more than welcome. Um, but included in your um, course fees for this class is a um, my my Math Lab access code. So that's going to give you a copy of the ebook and give you access to my Math Lab, which is um, where we'll collect um, some homework assignments through. And um, also, you need access to Microsoft Office. Um, and I have uh, in the Getting Started agenda, I have links that show you how you can download uh, this for free um, through using your Marion Tech email address. Um, some other software that you'll need for the online version of this class, um, you, you're going to need um, some type of um, webcam mic slash microphone um, headset um, to meet with your groups virtually. Right, That's going to be important. Um, because there will be group work in the class, right? So I, I send an email out, and if you um, if you didn't get that, um, please contact me, and I can forward you that information. But I sent an email out last week around Thursday, I believe, um, uh, j just introducing you to the class and giving you some um, information about technology that you'll need throughout the course, 
and also um, about the final exam. The final exam will be proctored, which means you have to take it um, at, on, ca on campus at Marion Tech um, or at an approved site, right? And, and I'll give, provide more information about that, right? So you cannot take the final exam at home. That has to be taken in a proctored um, environment. Um, and then about calculator, so you can use any scientific or graphing calculator that you have, right? My my intention is not to um, force you to go out and just buy buy a calculator. Um, you will want something that is scientific and can do like square roots, um, logarithms, and and things. So if you're you're not sure if your calculator will work, um, feel free to contact me. And, and if you need to purchase a calculator, I can uh, give you a couple of cheap options that will work. All right. All right. So here's the major course learning objective. So I'd read over that um, and see the the big um, objectives of the course. And then I have course outline. So, um, so for the first first time, there's about three three rows here that this constitutes one week during a normal term. Um, so about every two two of these blocks, right, is about um, one week during a 16-week curriculum, right? So something you want to be very aware of is that this course is accelerated. It's going to be double the pace that it is in a 16-week course. So you want to make sure that you have lots of time to devote to this class to be successful, right? I would not recommend taking um, a lot of courses during the summer. So I have the um, lecture topics broken up by week, along with um, assignments that are due that week. Right, so you'll notice that, uh, for the most part, all the assignments are due on a Tuesday at um, at midnight. Right, so that should give you plenty of time um, to work on on those assignments. All right. Um, so so the types of assignments that will be in this class. Um, so there will be um, a category for attendance and participation. Um, so, so with this, um, you're expected to meet with your group or instructor on time every scheduled day through Canvas, right? So every day that your group is scheduled to meet or um, I, you set up a meeting um, with me, it's important for you to be present um, and, and it's important for you to be prompt and participate, right? Because there's going to be a lot of group activity and um, we need to make sure that that you're um, t taking part and taking advantage of of the group work. Another part of this um, category will be to, uh, for your assignments that are group work based. Your peers are going to rate you um, how how well um, how well you do um, as a as a partner as a group partner. So. I will average those uh, scores, and that will be the grade that you receive for for that. Right. Another type of assignment that you'll complete um, are group projects. There are going to be three group projects throughout the semester. Um, so I kept the description the same for the on on ground, the on campus section. Um, but some something I want to point out. Let's see. So I said here that you're. Your, your groups will vary throughout the semester. So with the nature of online and accelerated in the summer, um, I'm probably not going to change groups. Um, I already assigned groups in Canvas. I set, uh, I think, six groups up. Um, so those those groups will, will stay, um, stay the same, right? Um, so I don't see a need to change those unless um, there are some may, maybe some issues with with that. Right. All right. So then another um, category that you'll have is a group presentation. So for each of the group projects, um, there will be some people presenting their work, and every group will present just one time. Um, and here is how it will be graded, right, the distribution, and I'll give a more information and a rubric um, as we get closer to that. Um, so if we scroll up here, right, so you can see like here, um, project one is due by June 19th 
at 11.59 p.m., right? So um, this is with the week two assignments. And then um, during week three, you can see here I put project one presentations, right? So during week three, um, there will be some groups that present um, present project one, and um, and I'll notify those um, those groups and help them um, make sure they're ready to to present, right? And when the group does their presentations, I'll be present and uh, be the audience, if you will. Um, but I, I really encourage and really like to see um, other um, other people that aren't presenting to be um, available during that time as well. So more information to come about that as well. All right. Um, so another thing, another topic, or what I'm calling quizzes. Um, so these are really like almost like mini projects, if you will. Um, so, so these will be completed throughout as well. Um, and these will be individual tasks, right? So um, I put here that, that others will be group oriented, but um, for, this, for this section, all of the quizzes will be individual, um, individually um, done. And the reason for that is I was reflecting on, on this course online and I was afraid to have too many group assignments because I know it might be hard to meet uh, that frequently. Um, so, so the so again, the quiz will be done individually for this online section, um, and and then you just have to worry about the uh, three group projects and the group presentation um, for for the group work. And then there will be homework um, completed on uh, my math lab, right? And that um, those have set due dates, and then. Um, here is the final exam. Um, so the final exam will be complete at the end of the semester, um, as I said. Oh, excuse me. The final exam will be completed at the end, and um, in, end of the semester. So week during week eight, and that um, will be proctored, right? So there'll be more information about the final exam in the in the near future, right? And then I just typed up some advice for seeing this class and some how, how the final grade will be computed um, and so forth, right? So something, make sure I go over the credit hour definition. So for an online class, a week term, you should expect to spend 18 hours a week on this class, right? So that seems like a lot, um, but that's um, how a college um, how, how much you should spend on a three credit hour college course, such as this course, right? So you want to be, um, make sure you're on top of that and have um, that much time devoted, right? So if you're taking two three credit hour classes, so let's say you're taking six credit hours, that's 36 hours a week. So just two classes is basically a full-time job in the summer, right? So, um, so make sure um, you're not taking too much of a load, right? All right, so um, you can read over the rest of this. I think I hit the main the main points that I want to. All right, um, <clears throat> so I'll leave the the rest of this um, up up to you to read over. If you have questions, you know, please e send me an email or post in the discussion board. Right, so let me go ahead and show you where those are. So if you go to the discussions tab, I created some discussion boards to get us started. Um, and I'll create some more as the term goes on. So I have this questions about any anything discussion board, right? So this um, this discussion board is really meant to be really general, um, more more about you know maybe Canvas or um, how the course is set up or or things of that nature. So not necessarily content is uh, per se. And then what I'm doing is I'm making these chapter um, discussion boards to, to be more topic centered, right? So like if you have a question specific to a chapter chapter two content, you could post here in the chapter two content board, right? So you could post your questions here. And I highly encourage uh, group um, other people in the class to respond to your classmates' questions in the discussion boards. And then I'll be sure, you know, to chime in if, um, if, if, I, if, if I feel something's wrong or if I, 
will comment like, oh yeah, like good job um, answering that and so forth, right? So I will um, respond as well, but I think it's really helpful for group, for people to um, connect with one another. All right, help each other out. And then um, another discussion I have here are the course introduction. So this is an assignment that you'll complete um, in week one. So it's just a way for you to introduce yourself and reflect on a couple of things. Um, and I responded um, to mine, um, to respond with my own information there as well. All right. All right, so go back to modules here. Um, and I'm just going to open up week one and just explain um, about what the typically modules will look like, right? So I post a content page for the week, um, giving some information. So like week one, I have here listed that you're going to complete these sections in the textbook, um, or sorry, the textbook calls these units, but basically they're the same as sections. Um, so you can um, relate to that. And then I have here, um, a lesson checklist, right? So you can click on this and download this. Um, so I'm just going to save this in my downloads. And it'll open up a Word document. All right, so then this Word document um, just goes through <clears throat> um, what you should be doing for each uh, unit, right? So um, I have just a blurb here um, just discussing how, you know, students learn, um, you know, in different ways. So there's a couple of different mediums that I have available um, with using this textbook and my math lab. Um, so the textbook is, you know, a great resource. It's a great um, tool to use. Uh, but there's also going to be PowerPoints, which capture some main points from the textbook. Um, and then there are some videos as well that walk through examples and so forth. Um, so these are all really great resources. So I would take advantage of all of those um, resources. So let me um, now let, let me show you how to access uh, these resources while I have this open. So to get into my math lab, um, you're going to click on this link, the My Lab and Mastering. And then you can just click on this orange box, right? So this will actually launch you into my math lab, right? And this is, of course, after you've already followed the how to connect your my math lab accounts and so forth and get registered. So you have to do all that in the getting started module first, right? So then once you're in here, um, you can go to the multimedia library. And then um, so like the first sec, the first unit we do is 2A. So you could go in here to 2A, right? So I pick 2A. And I would just go ahead and click select all and then click find now. And then here are all the resources available for 2A, right? So um, let me go dual screen here. Um, so here's my lesson checklist, right, that I had. Right, so you can see here I say read unit 2A in the textbook, right? So in order to do that, you would click here under multimedia textbook and the textbook um, will launch. Right, so here's the textbook, right? So I would read through this um, textbook. And um, you'll notice here that right next to Unit 2A is a video uh, link, right? So one thing you'll notice when I type this up, I asked you certain videos to watch, right? So you could watch the videos independently after you read, or you could do it while you read, which uh, that's be, that would be what I would do, right? Try to kill two birds with one stone, right? So I'd probably start out uh, click on this video link, and it and it's opening up um, that very first video <clears throat> that I had listed for you to watch, right? So you could you know watch that video, read through the text here, and then um, when you get to example one, right, that you could read through the example here, or if you prefer like a video explanation, you can click on that, and it will Problem pop up a video discussing how to solve example one, right, and so forth, right? So then I can just click over here and go to the next page, right? Um, and you can, I mean, you can play around with this, right? I can like zoom in and out. Um, I can also print from the textbook, right? There's a lot of options, right? Um, there's some different view options, right? So like 
there th this is more for presenting on a um, on a board um, and this is more for the view for students using at a desktop right but there there's some different options here right so just play around to get comfortable with the textbook um, you can search in the textbook I can jump around so if I want to go to 7a right I can jump straight to that and, and so forth right all right so I think that's enough for the textbook right so then notice here I put also um, you can look at the PowerPoint right so if I click on this it will launch the PowerPoint so I can download this right and have a PowerPoint right so right so here's a PowerPoint that accompanies the text right so this is pulling out a lot of important information in the text there's some different examples and so forth there's some different figures so um, so this will be be helpful as well right so you might want to print that out and you know use it as notes right maybe um, make some notes from the text while you're reading. Um, that's probably what I would do is print out the um, PowerPoint slides and then you know you could make notes um, out of the book that corresponds um, to, to the slides and so forth, right? Right, and then here's a listing of all the videos, right? So you can do that for each section, right? So like if I want to move to 2B, just select that, click Find Now, and then there's all the links for all that stuff, right? So I'll have that um, posted every week. So let me go ahead and get off of here. Go back to modules. Right, and open up week one again. Right, so we went over the lesson checklist, and then here I have assignments to be completed by Tuesday, June 12th. Right, so I already told you about the course introductions. That was that discussion board. Um, this this is a group meeting with Professor Maley, right? So um, I would like to meet with um, each of the Canvas groups um, during week two, um, or during week one slash week two, right? We need to meet earlier the better, so that way, um, that way you're ready to start on your group project um, that that's will be coming due fairly soon right so uh, I have here just some main meeting goals and you get some points for for being at the meeting if you don't come to the meeting you get um, zero of the points right so I'll send out like a group email or a canvas message trying to connect everyone together that's in the group right just to make that clear and um, we'll go from there Right, so I'll be looking for that um, Canvas message or email from me in the very near future. Right, so then um, other things, so like um, Chapter Zero homework is to help you get used to my Math Lab functionality, um, and then these uh, these homework assignments are in my Math Lab. So um, a nice thing about how I have it built is you can click on the link and it will just open up the homework right there so you don't actually have to go into my math lab right uh, but if you wanted to you could go to my mat my lab and mastering um, and open that up and um, there'll be assignments here and you can access um, the assignments that way as well right but keep in mind there are some assignments in my math lab but there's also assignments in canvas right so um, you have to be aware of both right so I would not um, use my math lab independently right so I think it's better and a lot more natural just to click on click on these links here right so then some other key features so you can click on the assignments tab here and it will show you all the assignment categories and all the assignments right that for the course um, discussions already sh it's shown you um, my grades a little different but you can click on grades here and um, and you can um, see your grade book. Um, the conferences tab is a way for um, us to connect um, 
through canvas so that that'll be a good tool like if you want to meet with me um, and then people the people tab is going to show you everyone in the course and then if you click on the group work tab this will show your individual groups right so like if I click here on group two you can see that uh, these students are assigned to group two right so I have uh, six groups um, there right and then um, so that's pretty much it right so um, so I hope the I hope this is a good semester for you um, again don't forget we're gonna you're gonna need at least 18 hours somewhat 20 hours available for this course per week um, and I will definitely uh, be there to support you um, along the way All right hope hope this is a good semester thanks